Assalamu alaikum guys, this is Sam. Welcome to the video with me here at Sam of Somalia. I'm just getting something up on my laptop at the moment. I wanted to do a, I wanted to um, like a response video a little bit um, for a request. There was a there was a request a sister got in contact with me recently, and she suggested that I should do a video on the um, on the family members, uh, which I thought which I thought was really nice. We're we'll going through the family members in Somali. Um, I'll just get up her message just so I remember all the ones that she said. Um, I thought that was a really nice idea because um, you know. Somalis, uh, this, this this is a little bit of video of people who are non-Somalis, obviously, um, but Somalis, compared to, in my culture anyway, like in white British culture, Somalis consider more people part of their family than what we do. Like, if we, if we have, like, my, like my mum's third cousin, that's, that's not your family to us. <laughs> like, 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 in white British culture, we wouldn't call that, we wouldn't call that individual our auntie or our uncle. That, that's your mate, as far, as far as we're concerned. That's that's not like one of your family members, but like to but to Somali people, like they would refer to pretty much any, even if they're vaguely related to you, who comes to your house or whatever. If they're like an an older woman or an older gentleman, you would refer to them as uncle or or as auntie. Like, like honestly, my wife has been referring to people as auntie that are, that are barely related to her grandma. Like let let alone like let alone related to her and um and when i found this out i was like that that was like a, a little bit of a culture difference to me it's really sweet like it's something really nice like it, it'd be nice if if like in our white british culture if we did do that a little bit more but like i you know like i like i, I don't really know my family members past like my uncle i'm trying to think if i if i actually know my family members past that my uncle my like immediate uncles or my immediate aunties um, I remember once when I was little, when I was about eight, I met my cousin's cousin, and that was, I don't bother seeing her again, like, that's far enough away for, like, you know, for a lot of people from, like, a white British culture, but, um, but yeah, as I say, that's, that's not the case for, um, for Somalis, so there are, there are different words for sort of auntie and uncle, and we'll go through them all, they're all obviously in the list that we'll go through, but, um, yeah, that was what most of this video is going to be about, about how sort of, um, you, you know, like, it's, it's good, like, especially if you're marrying into a Somali family as well, it's, it's good to be aware of the fact that more people are considered part of your family. You might see someone sporadically and they might still be referred to as uncle or as auntie. Um, so, so, that's, so that's something for you to bear in mind and also vice versa, if you're marrying someone from a white British culture, then bear in mind that, that they probably have far fewer aunties than you. They probably have far fewer uncles than you. They maybe have, I think I have... Um, I have two uncles, three uncles, I have three uncles all together, and three aunties in the world, that's what I have, and even that is a struggle, keeping in touch with all of them, even that for us, that's a real struggle, keeping in touch with all of those, and, you know, obviously I know the Somali community, and I might, I mean my family, like my, my wife's in touch with about, 500 aunties or something and, I, and we see them on a regular basis which is quite amazing so anyway we've got the family so let's let's get straight into it so the sister who contacted me on facebook iftina abdi thank you very much for sending that and contributing to my channel um please uh, anyone else who has ideas of things that you want me to make videos about them please do inshallah so obviously number one who are you who are you everyone knows who are you is his mother who are you and the next is abe abe uh I, when i last time i said abe i remember when i was working at Duxi. Uh, one of the kids is like, no, it's not our bed, it's our bowl. But quite often when there's this O oh, sound on the end, it's more like when you're calling someone. Like I know, you know, like when, I I even me, like my Muslim name is Suleiman. They say, look, Suleimano. People call me Suleimano. Or like if your name is Zahra, it would be Zahra. It's Zahra. Uh, so there's quite often that O oh, on the end. But um, you know, that, that, that might be the reason why our bed sometimes becomes our bowl. Anyway, so, um, okay. Ways of saying your brother or your sister, um, you can say um, wala shay is the one that I know and the one I, I have to look back because the other one I've, I, I've only heard my mother-in-law say abayo, abayo and wala shay are like saying sister to someone. Uh, uh, both of them can mean your real sister but are also referred to as the same way that generally Muslims will refer to each other and call each other brother or sister. Um, uh, so that's abayo or wala shay. And then for brother, uh, one, one of my very first videos, a sister commented, um, she said, like, oh, well done, Abuwe. And I didn't know what that meant. Um, I, I'd, I'd seen Walal, 
uh, but I haven't seen Abuwe. But those are the two for brother, Abuwe and Walal Kate, or just Walal, sometimes you hear Walal. But Walal Kate is like my brother, Abuwe or Walal, or Walal Kate, if you want to say my brother. For auntie, you have Habaryar. Of Habaryar and Edo, is that one of them is uh, your paternal auntie and one of them is your maternal auntie. Normally, I, I think that's the difference. Um, yeah, you have Habaryar, or just Habar, and, um, and Edo, are the other ones for auntie. Uh, and then for uncle, you have Apti. You have Apti. I think that's your maternal, your, um, no, your paternal, sorry. Apti is, is one of your mother's side, your maternal, yeah. Uh, Apti is your, is your maternal uncle, Apti. And then Adair is your paternal uncle, Adair. Adair, so you have Adair and Apti. And then there's another word for, for uh, like, a, a woman who's a bit higher than her, your, like, grandmother, is Ayeyo, or Awowe. Awowe and Ayeyo. Awowe, Ayeyo. I hope you enjoyed learning about the different names of the family members in Somali, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and share it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.